hello everyone welcome back to simply makeup my name is V in today's video I am still using the hummingbird palette because on this channel when I get an eyeshadow palette I like to make many different looks with the palette before I move on to the next palette also I try to leave a motivational word or an encouraging word or an encouraging message on this channel if these are things you like please consider subscribing and sharing this video today there's a lot of noise in the background nothing I can do about that someone roof is being repaired next door and now we start my eyes are prime and we are going to work in this palette I'm going to use this color here called fancy it is a pink shimmer and it looks like it has a shift in there so we're gonna try that today I'm going to put this on my lids as you can see it looks pink I don't know if you can see the pink and it also shifts like a green with a little gold in it it looks very very pretty this is it right here I'm just taking out the crease out of my base because I've hooded eyes so my base gets creased when I open my eyes. This is a pretty color. I don't know if you can see the shift, but it is pretty. The next color I am going to use is called Lagoon. This blue right here. It's a matte. The first color was a shimmer. Now I'm using a matte. One thing I have noticed, and I'm not sure if you have, I want to keep this brief I don't want to make it long because when I talk it's always long so bear with me what I have noticed well something I noticed some day ago that I came they cut our grass one and then the following day I woke up early to do my exercise and I opened the blinds and the fresh cut lawn looks so nice and refreshing. I saw it after it was done, but it's not until the morning, the following morning. It just looks so, so different. And I was like, it's truly pretty, a fresh, a fresh cut lawn does make the yard look nice I hope everyone had a good first of the year whatever promises you make for yourself for 2022 try and make it work if it gets too frustrating try break it down into smaller goals don't go ham on all these goals because it will create frustration and stress. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Bite it one piece at a time. Because if you try to conquer everything one time, you will be very stressful. 
and then you'll get disappointed because you think you should have done everything and then you get mad at yourself for not getting everything done you get disappointed that none of your goals were met but in reality you just try to do too much too fast everything don't have to be done in a month or a year piss yourself yeah put it on your calendar and say okay this year i want to do this that that but if you have not met that goal in a month or two months or by the time the year is over move it to the next year because you're taking it one little bit at a time and that way you won't be frustrated we all have goals and things we want to accomplish but all is not possible sometimes to finish it when we want and when we think we should so to prevent stress and frustration leave it alone just leave it alone menopause heat is a serious thing <laughs> I tell you menopause if you have menopause tell me what your symptoms are because I swear my own is never gonna go away I have had menopause since I was 49 years young <laughs> young and sexy <laughs> now i'm 55 will be 56 this year and i still have menopause and i cannot understand <laughs> when is it gonna go away i have hot flashes i have night sweats and day sweats because right now i'm sweating <laughs> at night i lay down to sleep i toss and turn i fall asleep then I wake up because I'm too hot so I uncover <laughs> and then I fall asleep and then I am too cold so I have to wake up to cover <laughs> back up <laughs> and this is all night long until about seven in the morning and then things come down <laughs> lord have mercy on all lord have mercy on all menopausal women and men because they gotta have men going through that too if you're a man and you're watching this and you have menopause let me know i am telling you this is some kind of crazy madness I am back with today's look. I use these four colors. That's what's on my eyes right now. Thank you all again for watching. I do appreciate you very much. Today's word is discernment. Discernment. Always remember, self is first. Love self plenty, take care of self. And I, Simply You Makeup, will see you in another video bye 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 see you see you see you soon don't forget to get your palettes out and play with makeup it's fun